Another feature of the medical grade monarcha honeys that are sold for specifically for use um, in wound treatment is that they are selected to have a good level of the non-peroxide, the special sort of antibacterial activity that monarcha honey has. There's a lot of honey being sold as monarcha honey, which um, doesn't have, it's sold as active monarcha honey, but the activity is hydrogen peroxide. Uh, it doesn't have these special properties. And uh, there are cases where people, medical professionals using um, these honeys, expecting to get the results that active, genuine active manuka honey um, gives, d um, get very poor results and this is harmful to the reputation of manuka honey. Um, the, in cases where they've contacted me and told me about this and I've checked what sort of honey they're using and I've told them um, where to get the the genuine sort, they've come back to me and said, yes, they've, they're now getting very rapid healing uh, once they uh, change over. Uh, it is important to have this non-peroxide antibacterial activity. And the other thing is that the ones that have hydrogen peroxide activity um, either are not monoca honey at all or don't have much monoca honey in them and therefore they're not going to be having the anti-inflammatory properties that um, monoca honey um, has a much better level of than other honeys. There have been concerns people have had about honey having any harmful effects, any side effects on wounds and um, there aren't any. Uh, honey's been used for thousands of years as a wound dressing. It's the oldest known wound dressing and there have never been any reports of it having any harmful effects. The only thing that is a bit of a problem uh, is that some people find that it stings when it's put on a wound. Now research has found that that's responsible simply to the acidity of honey. And it's not causing any harm at all. It's not a sign that it's causing any harm. And uh, it only happens on wounds that have got very inflamed because the inflammation sensitizes the nerve endings which detect acid. Uh, so the simple way of overcoming that problem uh, is to just have some sort of a gel which will slow the release of the honey or the acidity of the honey into the wound and that, that overcomes the, the problem. But as soon as the anti-inflammatory action has had chance to reduce the inflammation in the wound, it's not painful even on those individuals without needing to slow the release. I've had a lot of concern expressed to me about the suitability of honey on diabetics because people are concerned that the high glucose content of honey will get into the bloodstream and raise the blood glucose level. Well, firstly, on th um, theoretical basis, there's such a small absorptive area compared with the lining of the intestines that you wouldn't get much glucose absorbed that way. But just to be sure, we have in a large number of cases at first checked the blood sugar levels and found no measurable increase occurring, even when honey dressings have been used on quite large wounds in diabetics.